Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to create a dark mode toggle using Material UI. So, as usual, let's head back to the MUI docs. And inside, I will search for dark mode. So, if you scroll below, inside of the palette, you'll see there is an option called uh, mode. And by default, its value is light. But we can set it to dark if we want to. Let's implement this in our code. So inside of the theme.js, inside of the palette, we can set a mode. And uh, by default, the value is light. So if I save now, you will see no changes. But if I make it dark, then uh, you will see changes. So you can see that our whole application is now using the dark mode. Now we don't want to use only dark mode in our project. We want a button to toggle between light and dark mode. So let's create the UI. Back inside the root.jsx, just uh, inside the toolbar, I will create a button. And in Materi Material UI, we have icon button. So let's import it from Material UI. And inside of it, I will provide a icon and this icon will be called brightness 7. Brightness 7. Okay. So let's see how this looks. So let's refresh. Yeah. So it is looking fine. Now let's customize this toolbar this display has to be flex and uh, justify content space between if i refresh you can see that uh, we have our button so now when we click this button we want the color mode to change and uh, for this we will need a state and the default the initial value of that state will be light but when we click this button we want the state to change so we want to toggle between a light and a dark mode so let's uh, get back to our code and uh, implement this so currently we have our theme inside of a theme.js file and the problem is that this is not a component. In React, we cannot use hooks outside of a component. So we cannot really use this theme from this theme.js file anymore. And uh, we will need a component. So inside of this uh, components folder, I will create a new folder and I will call it context. And uh, inside of this context folder, I will create another file called custom theme provider .js. And it's a component, so it's going to be JSX. Now inside of this component, I will create a state called mode and uh, set mode. Let's import use state and the default value of this state will be light. And now I want to create a function and I will call it color mode. And it's going to be an arrow function. And the sole purpose of this function will be to change the mode from light to dark or vice versa. So it will be a toggle. So we have access to the previous mode and uh, if previous mode is light, then we will change it to the dark. Otherwise, we will change it to the light. Now let's bring the theme from the theme.js file. So I'll just head over to the theme.js file and I'll copy everything.
and I will paste it inside the custom theme provider.jsx. So just uh, below the color mode. Now we no longer need to export it and uh, we need to import the create theme function from MEY slash material. All right. Now we have hard coded a uh, mode. We no longer want to do that. We want to use the mode state that we have created up top. Now below this, this code is for the light mode. We need to create options for the dark mode as well. So I will just cut all of this and uh, below syntax looks like this. I will spread everything logically. So if the mode is light, I want something. And if the mode is otherwise, which means if the mode is dark, then I want something else. So let's put the same value first and I will change it later. So um, yeah, minor mistake there, create an object. All right, so this, this option is fine already. We don't, we don't have to edit this. And uh, this will be our palette for the light mode. And uh, this is the palette when the mode is dark. Now we can customize all of these values, but uh, I will not waste time customizing all of this. I'll just uh, customize the secondary color so you can understand. So I have changed the secondary color. Now let's scroll below. Now we have to return the theme provider from Material UI. So let's import it and uh, we have to pass the theme inside of the theme prof of this theme provider. So we already have the theme and uh, instead of a div, I will just make it a react fragment and uh, inside of this theme provider, I will provide a children. Now we don't have the children, my bad. We don't have the children, we have to grab it. Now we have the children. Now let's head over to the main.jsx file. Main.jsx file. And uh, I will remove this theme provider. And instead of this theme provider, I will wrap it with the custom theme provider that I have just created. I will also remove these unnecessary imports now. And if you want to, you can delete this theme.js file. It's not required anymore. Now we still have work remaining because uh, if I go to the root.jsx file, you can see that the icon button that we have created. So I'm talking about this button. It's not connected to this color mode function that we have created. So we have to connect this color mode function with this icon button. Only then we will be able to toggle the color mode. So the way we can do it is we can use the React Context API. Now, if you're not familiar with the Context API, the Context API allows us to pass values from one component to another without the need of prop drilling. This is not a beginner React course. So if you're not familiar with React Context API, then I suggest that you find some tutorial online. I will also be making a video on React Context API in the future. So let's get back to the custom theme provider.jsx and inside, let's declare our context. So I'll just create color mode context and it will be and it will be equals to the create context function from react and the initial value will be null we also need to export it so let's export it and uh, let's scroll below here we'll create the provider so 
color mode context dot provider and uh, as value i will pass the color mode function so we're passing this function and inside of the root.jsx file i will grab the color mode function so color mode will be equals to the use context and uh, i will pass the color mode context inside of this so if i scroll below on the icon button inside of a on click event i will use this color mode function so i'll just save and uh, if i go back to the browser and click this and click this button you can see that our color mode is changing so it is toggling if we want to we can change the icon upon click as well so let's bring the theme so just uh, above and uh, this theme will be imported from mey slash material so it's a use theme hook and uh, this hook returns us the theme object and here inside the icon button i will use this theme so theme dot palette dot mode and when the mode is light i will use brightness for icon But when the theme is dark, I will use the brightness 7. Sorry, we have to use question mark here. So if I go back to the browser now and refresh, we can see that everything is working fine. And our color mode is being changed. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and also subscribe to our channel. If you have any problems, then please let us know in the comment section that's it for this video i will see you in the next one